So I wanted to show a uh, free program that you can get. I'll put a link in the uh, description on uh, where you can go find this, but it's uh, put out by Avago, uh, and um, it's called AppCAD. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here, but I, you know, stuff in Smith charts and parts and matching and all kinds of stuff. But I wanted to show you one particular tool that I thought is pretty instructive. Um, it's so that you launch the program and uh, you'll see some some things up here, but it's way down here at the bottom left. It says transmission lines. If you click on transmission lines, you'll now see different types of transmission lines. So uh, we'll go through them one by one. So the first one is microstrip. So let's look at microstrip. So microstrip is a ground plane, a piece of copper. Uh, underneath and then a dielectric and then a little strip that runs on top. So you can imagine this is a PC board and you have the copper on the bottom and a little stripe on the top. And then if you set conditions, uh, this is set to uh, frequency, one gigahertz. Um, so you can set the dielectric. So if the dielectric is say FR4, you can, you can find that. You can say, ah, oh, the dielectric is FR4. So we'll choose that one. And then you can choose thicknesses and stuff. We can take a look at um, the units here. So it's in uh, mils, which are thousands of an inch. Okay, so the thickness of a board is about 62 thousandths of an inch. And uh, the width of a trace, let's say, is uh, 50, 50 mils. And the thickness of the copper and stuff, I'm not going to worry about. I'm just going to hit this button over here. It says calculate Z. So with these particular parameters, it came out with an impedance of 75 ohms. Now we're aiming for something like 50 ohms. And so we need to make this wider. So let's go to 100 mils wide. And now we're at 53 ohms. Oh, that's, that's getting closer. Let's go to 110 mils and we're here at 50 ohms. So you can see for this particular case, we need a pretty wide trace in order to get, um, in order to get 50, 50 ohms. Uh, now, if you had a thinner PC board, you can ask the board vendor, I want uh, 32 thousandths of an inch PCB. And now we've gone too low. So now we need to make this a little bit narrower. 42 is better. Uh, let's go back to 50. Here, we're right around 50 ohms again. So you can see by having a thinner PC board, things get easier. You can go to a, a PC board design house and, and specify thicknesses and stuff if you want something special. One of, the, one of the nice ways to do it is to use a four-layer board. Four-layer boards are generally, the top two layers are very close together and the bottom two layers are very close together. And then you have a big gap in the middle, say 62 mils or whatever. But you can use the um, the two the the two layers on the outside to do this, and then things get easier. So you might might only have a few mils of distance between the two layers, and uh, your traces can be very very narrow um, instead of very very thick like these. So that's probably the better way to do it. But then you're paying for a four layer board, which is much more expensive than a two layer board. All right, so let's go back to the main menu. Main menu. Uh, there's something called a coplanar waveguide. Now, a coplanar waveguide is a ground plane and then a stripe in the middle and then another ground plane. And uh, you see that there's a ground plane underneath, uh, which you might have or you might not have. Um, so it's not particularly instructive to have it there right now. So let me turn it off. So at the top here, we can say with no ground plane, click that button. And now you see the ground planes that disappeared on the bottom. Again, we can go to uh, FR4 uh, as the dielectric, and our, our uh, thickness here is 62 mils, and we can just do a quick calculation. We're at 75 ohms, um, so we could do a couple things. We could narrow the distances of the uh, gaps, but that's already at 5 mils. That's pretty small, so let's widen up the... Uh, widen up the middle trace a little bit and 58 ohms. Okay, let's widen it up even a little bit more. Let's go to 30. And there we go, we're around 52 ohms. So that would be fine. Um, so you can see 
that the way that this works is there's a ground on this side and a ground on this side and then the conductor in the middle. So it's it's almost like you took a coax and you sliced it. And uh, so part of it is over here and part of it is over here. You can also kind of think of it as a uh, an open ladder, but there's two sides to it, right? And we'll do an open ladder here. That's another, another thing here in the main menu. Uh, parallel lines down here. But we'll do strip line first. We'll just do them in order here. So strip line. I used to always call... Uh, micro strip strip line. I always got it wrong, but strip line is a weird thing. Strip line is when you actually have a buried uh, conductor sandwiched in the PC board. So it's very very rare, and I don't use it. Uh, I I just I just use the uh, micro strip. So get that one. Parallel lines. Uh, this is kind of like a antenna feed line or a open ladder. You know, 450 ohm something or other. <laughs> We can calculate the Z here. Yes, yeah, so this, this is set up for a 300 ohm, uh, 300 ohm uh, transmission line. So you can kind of look to see what we have here: uh, 15 mil wires, 100 mils, uh, point, point 0.1 inches, and in, you know across. You, anyway, you can play with this. This is parallel wires, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we have wire over a ground plane, and so that's that's interesting. That might be good for maybe antenna type stuff that you're doing. Um, coaxes. We're all familiar with coaxes. We here we can calculate it. This is a 50 ohm coax, so um, that's the default settings here. It has free space. We could set it to uh, polypropylene or something, poly yeah, or polyethylene, and calculate it. You can see that the uh, uh, beams went way down because we instead of air we have polyethylene, so we'd have to change the uh, conductor center or something. Ooh, I went too far. Uh, Change the conductor center, 64 ohms, or change the spacing, or whatever, diameter. You can change all kinds of things here. Uh, coax square. Don't know anybody who does that. Uh, trough with it one side open. Don't know anybody who does that. <laughs> and then there's arrow down here. And then you can do uh, slab line instead of strip line. It's, it's like strip line, but there's a round conductor in the middle, so that's kind of weird, too. Anyway, I thought this would be really interesting for you guys to know about. Like I said, I'll put a link down below if you want to if you want to download this and play with it. Um, the engineering tools, yeah, component values, complex math, uh, circuit design, s s everything. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, so I don't do this stuff. <laughs> so plot options. Uh, screen i don't know i'm just wasting your time now um oh there's some example examples here uh duplexer hey i just looked at that one of those recently so here's the duplexer um uh, yeah very cool anyway a whole bunch of stuff in here uh it's a free program so uh there you go <laughs>